Next up, at UFC Vegas 97, we have Yiza taking on Gabriel Santos. This is another fight where Jakey Boy and I are going to be split. But let me go ahead and break it down for you. We got Yiza, 25-4 and four in his career. 4-1 and one in his last five. He is on a nice three-fight win streak. Taking on Gabriel Santos, 3-2 and two in his last five. He's on a two-fight skid, 10-2 and two in his career. Gabriel Santos, aggressive striker, right? He's going to charge forward. He's going to bomb one-twos. And then when you've backed all the way up to the cage, he's going to wrap his arms around the legs and take you down. Once you're on the ground, he's going to look to finish you. Ground and pound, look for a submission. Not very technical, but he does throw fast. He throws with power. He is hittable on his side of the house. But his striking isn't really there to do anything other than get you to the cage and take you down. He's taking on Yiza. This guy is a powerful grappler. He uses kicks to manage range. He'll work in close. He'll get his hands on you. He'll drag you to the ground. He's very strong. He does a good job elevating opponents. I've said this before, but picking you up off the mat. You can defend a takedown if you've got a wizard and you're throwing your hips out. But if he grabs that single and he picks it up, there's no defending that takedown. You're just hoping you're going to land well and then scramble. Once he does bring you to the ground, he's constantly looking for submissions. He can struggle to keep you there because he is literally overzealous. He'll hop on something, he'll chase the neck, and you can slip out. But Yeez is going to come forward, work you to the ground, and then look to finish you there. This is grappler versus grappler type matchup. I think Yeez gets it done. I think he's proven that he doesn't even need takedowns to find submissions. He's like a Mackenzie Dern with better takedowns. He'll just climb you against the cage and try to snatch something up. So even if Gabriel gets too close, if he closes the distance, even if Gabriel gets the first takedown, I can see Yeez trying to make something happen, squeeze something out. It's a, it's a, you know, plus 220 dog. I'll take a close look at those props. I do like Yiza here, and then I just got Jacob sending me nasty text messages all week saying that's a trash pick. Why don't you tell the people why you disagree? You want to bet on this one? I'll bet you on this one. Okay, let's do even odds. Okay. Okay, how much money? 50 bucks. I was thinking 500. Well, I'm giving up the odds, so 50 bucks. I'm not betting you fucking 50. I'm, $50 isn't worth my fucking time. Do you oh, even care? Congrats even, on the success. Do you even click that request button? It's not even fucking $50. Kid got my laid fucking one time in a calendar year, and now how, this is how he talks. Great. Fucking $50. I'm making, me and Marcus are doing three, four, five, six, seven hundred dollars $700 a fucking a card. Contender Congratulations series. Congratulations to you Contender two. series, we're, we're, we're betting $1,000, $2,000. On a contender series card, Angelo, you're offering me fifty dollar fucking bet. Why don't you come over here and just spit down my fucking throat? Because then you would also have AIDS. Why don't you go ahead and break down this fight? So you do have AIDS, <laughs> allegedly. I don't. For anybody who's watching this for the first time ever, that's some stupid joke Jacob started. Please pray, guys. Just keep the prayers going. <laughs> the um, voice is unrelated. I have keep no the prayers <laughs> up. Where's my prayer warriors in the chat? Where's my prayer warriors? <laughs> In the chat. Fine. Just break down the phone. I can't wait for the day when Angelo can log into Facebook and mark himself safe from AIDS. That's going to be... Uh, Beat it. That's going to be the day. We need more premium members. I need that Magic Johnson money. Go ahead you and break know. down this damn fight. Listen, he is, he is a wrestler. He wants to get to the wrestling. Here's the... Here's the brass tacks here, Angelo. And here's the here's the oh, okay. <laughs> here, here, here's the concrete facts. Okay, that's Got, such a mi old Midwest man the thing to do. Let's get down to brass tacks, boy. <laughs> Go ahead. Didn't like the tone of that boy there at the end, but uh, yeah, Gabriel Santos is a better striker. I mean, he's a way better striker. He he was a guy that was lighting up David Onama. I love David Onama. David Onama was a very, very good striker, a good counter striker, and Gabriel Santos was lighting his ass up, almost dropped him a few times. Um, so I think he, the, the, the striking advantage here is in Gabriel Santos. And even if he gets too aggressive in the striking, you saw the exact same thing happen in the David Onama fight as well. David Onama was getting takedowns, but in those guard positions, this dude Gabriel Santos is not a fucking... There, he is not going to stay, just hang out out in this dude's fucking guard and just control him on the ground. This guy throws up triangles and arm bars at a fucking rapid speed. Had David Onama in all sorts of issues to where David Onama was like kind of lost in there in that first round. Couldn't strike with the guy. Couldn't take him down to stay safe because he was he was in danger on the ground as well. Finally was able to find that knockout and knocked him out cold, but that's David Onama, right? I mean, he is not striking like David Onama with a nice, you know, I think, was he a southpaw? Nice left hand right down the pipe. I mean, he 
he's not going to be able to hang on the feet. And if he tries to stay safe in the grappling, get to the grappling, he's in danger there as well. I think Gabriel controls this fight, uh, overwhelms this guy. When he tries to get desperate with the wrestling, I think the submission's going to be there. So I like Gabriel Santos. I like him inside the distance. I don't think this fight goes the distance. And I think he's in a, for a world of hurt uh, against this guy. Yeah, I don't think so. I disagree. If you want the bet, I'm happy to bet. If not, I understand why you're afraid, and that makes sense to me. $7,400 in DraftKings Fantasy. He will be in my lineup. The upside there is incredible. Let's go back to this last slide. 4.55 takedowns per 15 minutes on average. You know how well that scores in DraftKings Fantasy? I think he will get the takedowns. I think he wins the fight, obviously. Oh, he'll probably get a couple takedowns, well down. but it's uh, he's not going to fucking... <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna see that first active guard he's gonna be like oh no because david anama knows what he's fucking doing on the ground and he was like get me the fuck out of here dude yeah, he's almost I, wrapped up three times like fucking instantly i i get that gabriel santos is good and he's just becoming a bigger and bigger favorite as like time creeps on you when i was talking to you about building the safety parlay you're like too bad you're not on the gabriel side he should be in it like you're that confident I in like Gabriel it. Santos. I, I clearly am on the other side. So this is a, one of us is going to look real stupid this week because we're heads up on a bunch of these fights. And I have a feeling it's not me. I think you don't watch Seinfeld, but there are people in this chat that have watched Seinfeld. There was a, an episode of Seinfeld where George had not been laid for a long time. And turns out not getting laid made him think clearly. He was making incredible decisions. He was like a genius. He was like Rain Man, pointing things out, smart as shit. Then he got laid, turned into a drooling idiot. I think that's what we're working with here, Jacob. You're on a heater. You were doing well. You're on a heater. You threw on a young LA shirt, fancied some some uh, young woman's eye. You had the release, and now it's a downward I've spiral. still been masturbating almost daily the last... <laughs> it's still almost. coming out one way or the other different when you dream it it's different than when you wake up to wet sheets i don't know i like i i know what i like <laughs> nobody knows what you like more than you so when you live alone angelo <laughs> you learn very quickly you just have you just have noose clips everywhere for what is that remember that guy from highlander that's how he yeah that's how highlander went out There's or highlander's a, boss it's dangerous though guys be careful with that they killed Highlander's boss or the guy from Highlander. That was the first we ever heard of it. And we were young when that happened. Either way, guys, stay on topic. This is, there are children watching this. No soup for you. One year. Learning, learning how to bet on fights. You yeah. like Gabriel Santos so much. You're going to throw me your DraftKings lineup at $8,800. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh, yeah, baby. Yes. Well, then we're heads up across the board. If you do want to check out the picks, the bets, we are, even when we are heads up, this is not the first week where we have had opposite picks. Our bets still both do quite well. Just because we're picking on opposite sides doesn't mean we're betting on opposite sides. Yeah, my bet for this fight is uh, either one could win. There you go. We want picks.com. Click become a member at the top. It's freaking $10. A, it's an insane way to support us. B, you're going to get the most value in this space by far nothing is even remotely close and you get four events for it ufc 306 ufc 307 and the two fight nights we on picks.com click become a member at the top